فريبهم فريب الشيطان أحد بدل أبو الله أكل هذا الأكل وإيه الفك he will go. He is able. Just need. He already did it. He is able means that there is nothing that can stop God from looking out for you. You missed yourself. You. I said it too fast. I said the reason why you are the fact God of this time. He is able means that there is nothing. Somebody call him nothing. That's why you ain't got time to fight with people who don't like you. They did not like you today, and they did not like you next year. So if you don't stop out from the rest of the you can find me from the top. You can lay me off from the back. You can stop out from the rest of the You can sterilize my name. All my money is on the It ain't going to stop God from the rest of the day. So I know how to be laid. Okay. They make an announcement to you tonight that he's about to do what you've been waiting on him to do. He's about to fill every prayer you've been praying. Put him in text. I'm going to give you a text tonight. Here he is. Here Jesus is. We talked about Luke 5 earlier this week. Here he is. Not going to my text. Luke 5. Here he is coming in contact with this man. Watch it now. Look at the Bible. He was religious, he go, she just met a man with an advanced case of leprosy. Leprosy by itself is already a nasty contagious disease, but y'all, this is just not a regular disease of leprosy. This is what the Bible calls a loose time, an advanced case of, of leprosy, which means that it's worse than a normal condition. If someone can get a night, you can't get a night to a vow, you can't get a night to be inspired, be encouraged, to be pushed. And some of you are not looking at a regular problem. Don't be talking to me here. Some of y'all are looking at what seems to be an advanced problem. A bigger than normal problem. I don't know how far you can hear. But somebody wants to thank God in here. No matter how big the problem is, God is still having it. Your problem might be big, but God is big enough. God, God, God dropped it in my spirit. He said, the reason why the leprosy has to be advanced is because I'm going to give him an advanced blessing. You can say something. And for everybody in here now, who's going to do an advanced problem? God said, give that a fun advanced The Bible, the doctor preached in the band, saw Jesus. He bowed with his face to the ground, begging to be healed. How long have I to hear now? Just the time. Just let time for people to come to church, booze and suck up like you all that in a bag of chips. Just let time for people to come to church, booze and suck up like you all that in a bag of chips. You got the head down fine, lay to the side. Some of them got lashes glued on the face. They got hair glued on their head. I'm going to come to hear. They got nails glued on their toes too. But I need somebody here to thank God no matter, no matter how good God gets to me, I'm still going to worship God. I'm going to give my life to Jesus. I'm never going to get too big. To praise God. Yeah. 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 God. That will push you to praise God. That will pump you to praise God. God ain't have a pump you. He gave me that new car. God ain't have a push you. He gave me that new car. I need somebody here to praise God. Praise right now. Yeah. 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 He said, if you are willing, then I'll do it. He says, you can heal me and make me clean. I'm, I'm amazed. I'm amazed at his dialogue. This is the man that he is stricken with an advanced case of leprosy. He said, Lord, uh, you can heal me and make me clean. Get me to that just said. He said, you can heal me. And you can't make me clean. And the reason why some of y'all are praying to God but I'm not dialing in your pockets because you know, God, you can do it even if I ain't got it. Anybody who wants to pray to God now, I got to pray to God for what he did. I got to pray to God that I know he can do it. I ain't got it now, but I know he can do it. I know that's right. Now, I know he can do it. I know. I know he can change water in the wine. 
Did you do it? If you call that from the grave, yeah. I know he can do it. Yeah. If, if, he can, if he can open his blinded eyes and open his ears, yeah. he can do it. Yeah. He says, he says, he says, I've got an advanced case of this leprosy, yeah. but my condition doesn't stop my faith. I said, he has an advanced case of this leprosy. But he understands that even though I've got an advanced case of this situation, the, 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 the difficulty of my circumstance does not deplete the advancement of my faith. <laughs> and I even if you want to take a piece of my people can't stand you, because they know how bad it is for you. But even if I keep praying to God, you know, no matter how bad my situation is, I still want. In her, neither by the priest or king says, She was reached out and touched him. And the problem, the problem because if they got leprosy, nobody is supposed to touch him. You get that on Friday. I said, If they got leprosy, nobody is supposed to touch him. And, and, and some of you here right now, you feel as if your situation is so jacked up and so messed up. And God says, no matter how jacked up you are, I'm still going to touch you up. No matter how bad your situation is, I'm still going to touch you. He says, Jesus reached out and touched him. And the problem, the problem because Jesus, Jesus never in the Bible, the text never says that Jesus received leprosy himself. It says he touched him. Leprosy is a contagious disease. Uh, leprosy is a boil form at the outside of your skin. And when the inside of your skin, the inside of your body is causing a war within itself, and now people can see from afar that you have a disease called leprosy. Jesus touches a contagious man and nothing happens to him. Y'all want me to start going to tell you? I need somebody to give me that hand on that. But the last time the devil laid his hands on you, nothing happened to you. The, the last time the devil put his hands on you, nothing happened. And people are trying to figure out how come you didn't die in that situation? They went out and I had God on my side. He said, he said, I am willing, he said, be healed. I am willing, he said, be healed. I come out of today like that. God says, I'm willing. You must understand the so fast. I said, the Lord said, I'm willing. All right. All right, that's complicated. Let me simplify it. God says, I'm willing. Yeah. Right, you see, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say it slower. God says, I am willing. Yeah. And you show me all the reason why that didn't hit your spirit is you don't got enough of problems, problems in your life to keep God to fix them. But for everybody that got a storm going on in your life, God took me to you, I am willing. I, I'm willing to do it. Jesus trusts him. He says, I'm willing to be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Come on. I don't know who that's for tonight. But somebody here tonight, you got some going on in your life. God, to tell you, be healed. Yes. There's some pain going on in your heart. Strike going on in your spirit. He says, be healed. I have a big problem with the text. Because after he suffered with leprosy for so long, it don't 